Hi there, I'm Will Todd. Hi, this is Sarah Cortell. Hello, I'm Bob Chilcott. Hello, I'm Gabriel Jackson. Hello there, I'm Oliver Tarney. My name is Robert Harris. Hello, I'm Michael Higgins. Hello, John Rutter here. Hello, I'm Cecilia McDowell. I'm Benedict Sheehan. Hello, my name's Ian Asserson. Hello, my name is Howard Skempton. My name's Toby Young. Hello, I'm Becky McGlade. Hello, I'm Ben Parry. Hello, my name is Alan Bullard. Hello, I am Matt Corberg. Hi, I'm David Bednall. Hello, I'm James Whitbourne. Hello, I'm Malcolm Archer. I did two volumes of piano arrangements of some of my short choral pieces and Christmas carols, which was really spurred on by the thought that there are an awful lot of home pianists around who would like something different to be able to play. Lockdown's actually been a pretty busy time for me. Just as it really came into force last April, I, I just started a new position at St Edmund Hall in Oxford, one of the colleges. I actually used to bake a lot of uh, bread, and so this has been my, uh, my lockdown project to try to get through uh, as much of this 16 kilogram bag of flour. Putting recordings together, doing virtual recordings uh, of uh, individual musical lines and putting them together to make a performance. I saw a picture of a composer alone at a, d a desk, um, and it said composers before the pandemic. And then the next one was uh, a, a picture of a composer alone at a desk, and it said composers d during the pandemic. And they were the exact same p picture. Um, so uh, honestly, in terms of how my life has changed as a composer, I would say that it's actually been a really good and productive time. Perhaps the piece uh, that OUP have published of mine that I'm most proud of is As the Rain Hides the Stars, which is a setting of a Gaelic prayer. The first piece I had published with Oxford University Press, wow, that was Songbird. And it's a piece for upper voice choir for three parts, kind of tight harmonies. And it's actually a piece that I wrote for a choir that I used to sing with. So before this piece was published, before this piece was out in the world, I got to sing it and workshop it with a group of friends back in university. One of the pieces that I got published by OUP um, is an upper voice and piano setting of May the Road Rise to Meet You which I wrote for the National Children's Choir of Great Britain way back in 2006. I think one of my favourite pieces which OUP publish is my Hymn to St Cecilia uh, with text by Ursula Vaughan Williams. And I think I'm particularly fond of that piece because it just gave me an opportunity to write on a slightly bigger canvas. One of the pieces that I first worked with with OUP was uh, the Call of Wisdom that was commissioned for the Diamond Jubilee of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II back in 2012. And it was originally written as an upper voices song, anthem, uh, that was performed in that service. One of the pieces I have published with OUP is My Beloved Spake. In my setting, I emphasise the words come away, which for me are really the heart of the text and speak of being drawn into a place of peace and strength. The first piece I had published by Oxford University Press, I think it was in 1995. It was a carol and it was called Midwinter. And I originally wrote it for the Toronto Children's Chorus. <laughs> A desert island choral piece for me would have to be by Benjamin Britten. There are many to choose from, but I think the, the, the masterpiece for me is the Hymn to St Cecilia, um, which in fact was written on the boat coming back from America. Gerald Finzi's In Terra Pax, for me it's the perfect piece, it's, it's, it's not a, a, a long piece, but uh, like so much of Finzi's music, there doesn't seem to be a note out of place. If I had to choose a single choral piece for my desert island, it would probably be Messiaen's 
O Sacrum Convivium. My ultimate desert island choral piece, uh, which I've said, said in the past, so I don't think it would surprise anyone who knew me, um, is Howells's Hymnus Paradisi, which I still think for me is the um, ultimate piece. Bach B minor mass. Uh, that's it's a piece that I think is one of the most profound pieces that has ever been written, a piece that I've conducted numerous times, and it's a piece that just reveals so much to one in, in its construction, in the way that Bach thought. Um, you know, I, I often say that my best teacher was Johann Sebastian Bach, because I think if, when you have a problem, if you look into the music of Bach, you can always find a solution. One piece of choral music that really inspires me is the bird, Laudibus and Sanctis. And the reason that it inspires me is because it takes me back to a time when I was singing with the Choir of Kings College, Cambridge, um, in that amazing acoustic. Matthew Passion. And the reason for this is when I was five, I was taken to my very first concert at the Royal Festival Hall in London. And I went to a performance of the St. Matthew Passion, which was given by the Bach Choir. One of the pieces that's always been very special to me from, you know, childhood, singing it in Canterbury Cathedral at Colchester. And I, and I always say to people, this is an example of how to write a perfect piece. There's absolutely nothing that you could possibly change uh, to improve it. It's just immaculate, uh, which is just, if, if you love me by Talis. <laughs>